Well, the Federal Reserve today raised its key lending rate another three quarters of a percent. Now, reporter John Matarias joins us now to explain what this really could mean now for your wallet. John? Well, Craig, the Fed has done it again, raising rates for the third time this summer as it attempts to slow down that 8% inflation rate. But it also means you may soon have to pay more for anything that involves borrowing money. This latest rate hike is the same as the August rate hike. Rate hikes make it tougher for businesses and consumers to get cheap loans, reducing demand. So how will this affect you? Well, experts say credit card rates and auto loans will go up again in the next few weeks. And mortgage rates, already up from 3 to 6 percent this year, will likely go higher than 6. And that is hitting the housing market hard. All of a sudden, the buyer pool has shrunk. And, and so for, for those selling their houses, we're seeing them sit on the market a lot longer. But also those that want to buy a home, they're kind of at the mercy of the wild swing in rates each week. Home prices, however, have yet to drop much because so few homes are on the market and there are still more buyers than home sellers. Now, one benefit for consumers, the interest rates on various savings accounts will go up and that could save you a little money down the line. Greg. All right.